Hi everyone, welcome to Loose Unicorn's Brewing Guide. Today we're going to be doing a mocha pot. Um, this is a very interesting brew method and it kind of pretty much uses the same principles as an espresso machine, but just that it's not an espresso machine. Uh, in Italy they also call it a macchinetta and it does really substitute the espresso machine if you don't have one. You can pretty much do that kind of style of drink. Now, let's break this into half and see exactly how it works. Now, as you can see, it's composed of two chambers. The lower chamber, it's where the water and the coffee will be, but they're going to be separated. Now, over here, it's where we're gonna be adding the coffee. Over here, it's where we're gonna be adding the water. Now, the idea of this brewer is that as the water gets boiled, it uh, travels up through the coffee grounds and then it goes all the way up through here which it serves as a filter and then comes up through this channel in the upper part. Now when your coffee is here it means it's pretty much done and ready to be enjoyed. So let's see how this works in, practi in practice. First we're gonna be needing some coffee and we're using about 15 grams of coffee. Now the grain style of this coffee should be espresso style and if you're going to uh, if you don't have a grinder to do so, whenever you order your coffee and lose unicorns, just make sure that you want espresso style uh, grind size. Just gonna add the coffee here in the upper chamber. Just gonna make sure we distribute it nicely and even. Now we want to make sure we don't overdose this chamber too much. And also if it's under those, that's not a very good sign as well. Because if there's too less coffee, then the water can travel very easily through. So you just need to give a bit of resistance so the water gets to spend some time with the coffee and extract. Just a little bit more tiny coffee. And here we go. Very good to go. Just want to make it nice and clean. Just about like this. Now we're going to add water. Now adding water, um, I would suggest you use hot water first. If you use hot water, then this will just hurry up the process. This is very important because uh, when you're making a mocha pot and then you're using cold water and you're waiting for the water to boil on the stove, this might take too long. And then in this time, what's happening, coffee sitting here with the water on the stove, all these metal parts are getting very hot and then the coffee's gonna get burned. So, I would suggest you use some hot water in the, from, from the very beginning. Uh, we're going to add water into the lower chamber and ideally is that we're not going to exceed the valve. We're not gonna go with the water level higher than this point. This is the emergency valve basically, so whenever there's too much pressure building up in this little chamber, it will allow it to go out. Otherwise, you're gonna have a big problem. I'm gonna put this here. We're going to screw it. At this point, be very careful. If you're pouring hot water, this is gonna get hot very quickly. Okay? And now it's time to put it on the stove. All right, so after the coffee set on the stove for approximately about two minutes, uh, it's all ready and now it's ready to be served. Now since the style requires, we might want to use one of those little espresso cups. Now remember that this style of coffee is very rich and very full body. Uh, it's mainly because of the filtration system, which is basically metal. So it allows a lot of the uh, solids to go through, so it will give you a very rich and aromatic coffee. Okay, let's see how it is. Oh my goodness, this aroma is crazy. Well, just the way I like it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.